So what is the meaning of life? I'm finding I have some answers to that question. Is that presumptuous of me? Well, hopefully not because everyone and their mother claims to know something about this. And oftentimes it is the case. They don't go through a lot of searching to come up with their answers. Therefore, I don't think it's necessarily presumptuous. I'm not claiming I have the definitive answer to all this. I believe at this point in time, the answer I'm embracing is the best thing out there. And if I find better answers, and I imagine I will find ways to continually tweak this, I will likely embrace those as well. That's what a search for truth demands of us. Ever read the book from past, from, I think it's called From Debt to Prosperity or something like that. It was written by one of the people connected to one of the big spiritual books out there. Anyways, in this book, it talks about the stages of spiritual growth. And I believe the first stage was something about how you're at this level of hedonism where you just care about pleasure. And then the next stage is fundamentalism. You're not into pleasure, but you're so rigid. And then they actually said atheism is better f because you're thinking about things. And then the next step is like Buddhism or New Age, if you want to call it that. And the fifth stage is like a continuation of that. My path has been similar to that, but not quite the same. I never really was fond of hedonism. It didn't make much sense to me. But I grew up in a fundamentalist home. My dad and my stepmom were very fundamentalist. As I got at the end of high school, I decided to question that. And ultimately, I decided it was not a good way. It didn't make any sense to me. It didn't seem just. It didn't seem rational. It didn't seem moral. And the natural thing that I chose was atheism. Now I realize fundamentalism, atheism, is a false dichotomy. I thought I found a lot of good in atheism. I did get to the point where I realized atheism can provide a lot, or it's more positive alternative, secular, more positive ver version, secular humanism. But there's one thing that always made me uneasy. What holds it all together? Sure, like they say, you can have morals, you can have a good heart, you can be happy, you can have a meaningful life without God. But what holds it all together? 